Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Sales classes and today we are looking at the IIT JAM Economics question paper 2023 question number 41. So let x be distributed with a uniform distribution 8 comma 20 and z be uniform 0 comma 6 be independent random variables and we define y as x plus z and w as x minus z. So we want to find out the covariance of y and w. So given x follows uniform 8 comma 20 and z follows a uniform distribution 0 comma 6, right? So covariance between y and w would be y is defined as x plus z w is defined as x minus z so that would be this so covariance of this would be variance of x if you expand it minus covariance of x comma z plus covariance of x comma z minus variance of z so given they are independent these covariance terms are zero or they are actually cancelling out so this is basically giving you answer of variance of x minus variance of z okay now if you recall the properties of uniform distribution that if x follows a uniform a b then the expectation of x is a plus b divided by 2 and variance of x is b minus a whole square divided by 12. So if we use this property, given that x follows uniform 8 comma 20, so variance of x would be 20 minus 8 whole square divided by 12 minus variance of z would be 6 minus 0 whole square by 12. So that makes it 12 square minus 6 square divided by 12. So that is a square minus b square. So 18 into 6 by 12. And this gives you your answer as 9. So the answer over here would be 9. Now let us have a look at question number 42 of the IIT JAM 2023 question paper. So y follows the normal distribution 3, 1. W follows a normal distribution 1, 2. And x follows a Bernoulli distribution with p equals to 0 0.9, where x equals to 1 is success and x equals to 0 is a failure. So we define s as x into y plus 1 minus x into w. Then what is the expectation of x? So let us first understand how we'll evaluate this. So the expectation of s would be the expectation of x into y plus 1 minus x into w. So that would make it expectation of x into y plus w minus x into w, right? So that would be expectation of x into y plus expectation of w minus expectation of x into w, okay? So since nothing is specific is mentioned about these three random variables y, w and x, we can assume that they are independent. So that would imply that expectation of x into y would become expectation of x into expectation of y plus expectation of w and this would become expectation of x into expectation of w. Okay, now let's have a look at them one by one. So y follows a normal distribution with mean 3 and variance 1. So that makes expectation of y as 3. w follows a normal distribution with mean 1 and variance 2. So that makes expectation of w to be 1. And x follows a Bernoulli distribution with p equals to 0 0.9. So if you recall, the expectation of a Bernoulli distribution is p and this in case turns out to be 0 0.9. If you replace these values over here, expectation of x is 0 
expectation of y is 3, expectation of w is 1, minus expectation of x 0 0.9 minus 1. So that is 2.7, 1 taken common, 1 minus 0 0.9, so that is 2.7 plus 1 into so that is 0 0.1 so that is 2.8 so your answer rounded off to one place of decimal is 2.8 now let us have a look at question 43 of the IIT jam 2023 question paper so if capital X denotes the sum of numbers appearing on a throw of two fair six phase die, then the probability of P of X lying between seven to 10 would be how much round off to two decimal places. Okay, so two fair dies are thrown. So what is the total number of possible outcomes? It is 6 into 6, 36, right? So we need to find out probability that x lies between 7 and 10. So that is basically probability of that x equals to 8 or probability that x equals to 9 okay now if you look at the probability x equals to 8 what are the possible combinations the two dies must either throw 4 comma 4 5 comma 3 3 comma 5 6 comma 2 or 2 comma 6 so total possible outcomes if you just count 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 possible outcomes if you look at x equals to 9, the possible combinations would be 3 comma 6, 6 comma 3, 4 comma 5 and 5 comma 4. So this gives you your total possible outcomes as 4. So probability x equals to 8 would be 5 by 36 and that would be 4 by 36. So this would give you 9 by 36, 1 by, 1 by 4. So that gives you your answer as 0.25 okay so this is your answer rounded off to two decimal places thank you everybody